Thanks, Arkansas. Governor Asa Hutchinson says the state has exceeded its fundraising goal of private donations to replace statues representing Arkansas and our nation's capital. Governor says it's on the public phase, on to the public phase of the fundraising campaign now. Five News reporter Veronica Ortega has that story. Sometime soon, the statues of music legend Johnny Cash and civil rights icon Daisy Gatson Bates will be put in a place of honor in National Statuary Hall in Washington, D.C. In the last 100 years, Arkansas has changed as a state. But the changes that we have seen as a state are not reflected in our nation's capital. Bates and Cash are replacing the statues of former Governor James Clark and Uriah Rose, a 19th century attorney. We settled on Daisy Bates and Johnny Cash, and I think that now when kids go to Arkansas or go to the Capitol, uh, they're going to see some people that they that they know and can be proud of. So I think it's exciting. It's unclear what will happen to the statues of Clark and Rose, but they will likely be returned to Arkansas and preserved. History cannot be sanitized. It is what it is, and we need to preserve it so that it does not happen again. Millions of people visit Statuary Hall every year. Cash's statue will be placed in the visitor center, his family writing this statement. This is a son of Arkansas who traveled the world many times over, but never loved a spot on earth as much as the one he represents in this magnificent place. While Bates' statue will reside across from another civil rights icon, Rosa Parks. Will stand as a testament throughout time to the belief that access to education is the key to success. The news comes one day after what would have been her 106th birthday. Covering news where you live, Veronica Ortega, 5 News. Renderings of those statues are not yet available. Artists are right now working on putting some ideas together, and the public phase of fundraising is wide open now. We do have a link to where you can donate and become part of history on our website at 5newsonline.com.